Five, the Gehring of University of Basel in Switzerland, took a regulatory gene from a mouse embryo. Is get the company credit card and order tests to Sydney's siblings, mother and grandmother, because that would be the actions of a madman. Estimations of the world's canine population reach about a billion in total, with three quarters of these being street or village dogs. The other dog we tested was Ella, and she came back as a purebred Hungarian Vizsla. Take a moment to think about the dog showing or breeding world. The tame, or less fear of humans, and the aggressive. But I think Risk won't have either either, because he's super sweet, he's pushy, but he's confident, he's... Of course, not every puppy comes from a breeder. Dogs from rescue centres, village dogs and strays can all come without any history. Has the work at Darwin's Ark revealed anything surprising regarding the role of genetics when it comes to problem behaviour? Yeah, so we had analysed our survey data recently to find these major behavioural... What are you doing? Morning. Morning. Uh, uh, anyway. Oh, how's it going? There's <sighs> only one couple. There's only one couple. <laughs> you, you can't see this, but when I uh, put the broadcast on, I named us Dando. Hold <laughs> <laughs> oh, on. Why can't I show the labels? Oh. That's so funny. That's hilarious. Oh, Man, have you got a cup of coffee? No. Have mine. Oh, thanks very much. Cheers. <laughs> I told you that would be cheesy. I always wanted to do that. I oh, really to do that. I can't carry on drinking yours. I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> Genetics. 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 Come on. Oh, you know what? There's something there's something feels nice just about releasing a second verse. Yeah, I agree with that. Definitely. There's something like, the, like the next level to it, doesn't it? Yeah, and it's it, like just feels like there's something I feel almost a bit of relief. I don't know what it is about like the fact that you've got you've gone from one and now they've gone to another because they've got to do this like seven times, but it there it feels like now it's not just one little drip now. It's now beginning, to, we're beginning to go, look, we're building something. We're making something here. Yeah. But the thing is, so, so the drip happens automatically. So the students that are already on the course, uh, when they log in today, it'll just be there. But of course, that happened at one o'clock this morning. So <laughs> zero, 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 zero UTC or whatever it is. So at th about four o'clock, I'm laying in bed and I'm just stirring. I'm like, Check the drip, check the drip, check the drip. Get so I log on and just make sure it's all make sure it's all come out. It's absolutely perfect. And there's I think it was Becky put a post up within about five seconds of it going live. It's out, it's out. Absolutely. And I know Natalie was like, is it gonna come at midnight? I was like, Yeah, pretty much. And then uh, and then she was like, I can't believe it, I'm still waiting here, it's still not here. I was like, shit, sorry. <laughs> one o'clock, one o'clock. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, one o'clock, one o'clock. Yeah, well no, it comes out at midnight. Somewhere in the world. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's always midnight somewhere. Spain, actually. Uh, is Spain oh, no. an hour no, ahead? So, yes, it would be 2 a.m. Spanish time, 1 a.m. UK time, 0000, 000, 000, 000 UTC. Mm. It's universal something or other. Okay. Um, so, so, there's a few things. First oh, one. Before we do any of that, before we do any of that. This is the Founds. The Founds Hotel. Founds Hotel. Why is um, no one, lots of people say they haven't got any sound, just so you know. Sweet to Mary, Mother of God. Cool. Uh, right. Turn your volume up. Oh, we can hear each other, so that's... <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why don't we check that someone's got sound, because someone got sound, and then we'll be... Happy. Got sound, can you please let us yeah. know? Emily sound. has sound. Yeah, okay. Right. Not a technical issue. Fine. Fine then. Fine. Good. Good. In that case, Sorry, no. hotel. 
um, which we're in at the moment, um, it is what freestyle, 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 dog friendly hotel. I put a little post up on my incredible page this morning, Joe, about us yeah. doing hotel reviews. Oh yeah, we used to do them all the time. Yeah, yeah, and um, it's a shame I haven't got my camera and stuff because I'd like to do a review of this place purely because the staff are like super laid back and really friendly. Yeah, really good. Oh. Yeah, really, really good. Yeah, really, they've been really, really cool. But, and we had three Mallies in, had no problems with them coming in. Like, just, yeah, no problem. I think they're, they're no, it just really sound. So if you're ever in Worcester. You wanted to call it Worcester Sire then. Yeah. <laughs> if you're ever in Westerfield, then, uh, and you got some dogs, come stay in. Bounce Lovely. Decent breakfast. Oh, that- yeah, decent breakfast as well. That's good to know. That's good to know. Has anybody else noticed how badly Nando's cough has come back since we got to England? Dean, have you noticed? No. His cough, his cough's gone in Spain. His cough's come back. It was all right when he was drinking pitchers of cherry, <coughs> cherry, cherry bakewell cocktail last night. Last night, I sent Dan, I sent Neen, 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 I sent Nando. Down to Dean's. Well, I could have called Neen. <laughs> Nando down to Dean's. I'm like. Go and have a good night's sleep, chill out there, have a nice relax. I'll, I'll have the baby because it's pretty tired. It's been pretty full on with family and stuff here. We had to go down that way anyway to get the vets. Literally, two hours later, Dean sends me a photo of Nando drinking a pitcher by the pitcher like this. I was like, I didn't send him there for dancing girls. I sent him there for bloody rest. <laughs> Five seconds later, another picture comes through of two different cocktails. Which one do you think's Nando's? Fucking... <laughs> Oh, it was the Cozy Club, it was nice. Yeah, though. really nice. Anyway, I feel like we've digressed a little bit. Um, so, hotels, restaurants. One of the big things that people are talking about on our, um, on the Behaviour Bible page is whether or not they should finish their assessments before they do genetics. And what makes me laugh is that nearly everyone's like, nah, nah, no, don't, don't, I'm not going to, I'm not going to. They're just properly like supporting each other's decision to go put it to the side. Do the assessments later. Let's let's crack on with genetics. I think there's there's <laughs> huge pros and cons to that, really, though, isn't there? Like because what is it's very easy as you learn each lens, it's very easy to see it just through that lens. So the, I think the con of waiting is you don't get the purity of just seeing it through the domestication and evolution lens for that second yeah. because then your mind is then muddied after it. It's but right. you get a more rounded view. Yeah, that's also a pro. It's yeah, a con yeah, and yeah, a pro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I've got to say on those assessments, some of them are Brilliant. sick. Yeah. They're wicked, aren't they? People that are posting their assessments. Like phenomenal work, man. Phenomenal. I, had someone, I had someone the other day message me and be like, I, I feel like it's not right that we're posting our assessments. Like, I, I, like obviously in no other kind of examination type assessment type situation have people been posting it. I feel like it's, it's, um, it's like a cheat. And I'm like, no, not at all. As a cheat, remember. So, so, so if you want to sit there and plagiarize it and, and try and copy it, of course that's cheating. But yeah. it, it's broader learning, isn't it? It's it's learning somebody else's interpretation of the of the information that's been that's been given. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, I think it's brilliant. Isn't it? well, they look phenomenal. They they are really really well presented. So yeah. uh, Laura did a really, <coughs> really nice little video, didn't she? That was really nice. I right? loved that. Honestly, she has a career in telly, that one. Like, her narrative on that reminds me, There's a, it, if anybody's got kids, there's a really, really good cartoon called um, something like, I think it's called The Caterpillar Shoes, and it's about a caterpillar um, who's turning oh, into a butterfly, so he needs to donate all his shoes, yeah. right? Because he doesn't need them anymore because he's not going to have legs. You're not so, thinking of the caterpillar, are you? What? You're not thinking of the hungry caterpillar. No, 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 no. It's called the caterpillar shoes, and he he needs to donate all of his shoes because he's turning into a butterfly. So he gives them all. Like he gives a pair to the spider. He gives a pair for a flea to live in. Like he, anyway, but it's got this got this particular narrative that, that's just beautiful, and the the whole the actual animation is just gorgeous. Like it's me and Tina watch it all the time. It's really really lovely. But Laura's narrative is just like it, and it's it's pitched perfectly. I I love I love that assessment. And it's nice because we can yeah. pass a bit of judgment. We're not we're not marking them, so we can pass a bit of judgment on them. Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> so the other thing to think about is that those assessments uh, they don't have to be, and you're not submitting anything until the end. So um, 
if you do it and you've half done it or if you um want to return to it if you haven't even started it and you want to move on all of those are viable options for you because and they've all got their own pros and cons like if you wait if you do that with every assessment and come back to it at the end you're going to go shit there's a load of work for me to do now um but you're also going to have that more random view of going through the entire course before putting those things in and there are there are pros and cons to to all of that so if it was me i reckon i would do it but have it as almost finished do you know what i mean like have it just before just before finished yeah. if it was you you would have a spreadsheet of how many times you could return to it after every single verse for three fucking years nothing wrong with that no nothing wrong with a bit of organization <laughs> i am um, i would i would think i'd do the same as dean to be honest i think i'd have it as a as like an ongoing it's there I'll knit back and forward, but there might be something I've seen that I like that I want to add to it. Blah 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 blah. blah. Yeah. So if it was me. I would do it, and then it would be dead to me forever. We know. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you live your life. That's fine. <laughs> um, so, domestication, domestication, evolution, what? roaring, roaring success, domestication, evolution. Yeah. Yeah. At 100 percent 100 percent And it's funny because I really, really, and I can definitely say this now that genetics is out. I really didn't want to have to do that one because in every other course that I've done, it's like the the you don't want to do that. It's boring, it doesn't have any application, it's <coughs> it's a bit dull as ditch water, like it's just not exciting at all. But as I started to like beaver into it a bit more when I was getting ready to do it. I started going, oh, actually, that is really interesting. And that is really, and, and it started to make this, like, it started to make it a lot clearer to me what the applications were and how I hadn't really acknowledged that understanding it was impacting my practice. And now I can acknowledge that understanding things like selection and stuff like that was actually really, really fun, is, is really, really fundamental to when you're assessing a dog and when you're looking at a dog. You just don't realise you're doing it. But I think now I'm much more aware that I am doing it. Um, and I can start to see other people putting it into practice and and putting it into their no. into their brain when they're when they're looking at dogs. So it's wicked. So yeah, massive okay. boring success. Love it. I love all the. What I loved most about it is the independent study and and how people are really going off going off with it. You know, they're going okay. Now I can see it through that lens. I'm going to go and study this. And I'm going to go and study this. And I'm going to drop it in the group, and we're going to have a discussion and debate about this and that. I love that. I absolutely love that. So literally, I don't know about you, but my Facebook feed is 95% uh, the Behaviour Bible group because they're yeah. they're continually posting really interesting articles. A, a lot of it is 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 peer to peer debate as well. There's some bloody yeah. brilliant yeah. debates going on. Yeah, some really good and stuff. Actually. And what and what I like, and I think I don't know whether or not well, I feel proud that we have managed to build um a community whereby original thought is so supported. So because uh, I've found in certainly in academic science that it's really people that have become uh and I actually I think I talk about this in the interview with um in, in, in endocrinology but anyway p people have become really averse to communicating their own thoughts about something if it's not heavily backed up by science um because or if it goes against some some scientific model somewhere um people won't won't put it up on facebook because other people come on and they go no the, actually the science says this you don't know what you're talking about blah blah blah, blah. and uh, whereas i don't I feel like we've managed to kind of create this group where we go, no, 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 you've got to think broadly about these things. And actually, if you have an idea about it, we don't know. It could be right. There's things that are equally true as are not true. And and so we've got loads of people being like, well, how do we know that the people didn't eat the wolves? And actually, the wolves are scared of the people. And people were a better predator. Like, what's in our diet that stops us from thinking that we hunted wolves? And then you've got other people saying, well, you know, what stops us thinking that wolves are actually more like dogs and that when the species diverted from the original species, it wasn't a pre-wolf. It was a pre-dog that went wolf and dog. <laughs> Literally, zero for any opinion and everything is debated. 
yeah, mm. fully. It's it's really nice. And what um, we do it subconsciously, I think, as and we've not talked about doing it. But if anybody does offer a really strong opinion, we'll often go in there and offer offer the opposite to balance yeah. the whole arg- balance the whole argument up yeah. Um, yeah. to enable people to like have have a, a brand new opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think it's I think it's beautiful because one of those opinions is probably right, and. And what you know, and, and over the next couple of years, someone's going to come out and there's going to be a bit of research, and we're all going to go, that, that, yeah. hell, that six years ago, she thought that was true. And and that's that's the way it should be, you know. We should never be scared because we're not just putting some ignorant opinion out there. You know, and what's nice about it is that everybody has a decent level of education in order to debate and in order to come up with these ideas people aren't just coming out of stu- like ridiculous ideas that are based on nothing Absolutely. they understand the research out there and then they're coming up with the ideas there's some really nice comments here so rachel said you should be so proud the only group i feel safe to post in without feeling stupid and emily says socks groups are the only dog groups i post in been shut down too many times in other groups and dealt with too many keyboard warriors to ever uh, want to share outside the social community. Mm. That's really, that's like perfect, isn't it? It's perfect. Yeah, and I feel a bit like that. Like over the last sort of, since I've been in England, I've had quite a lot of people say, oh, you haven't been on social media. And I haven't, not because I'm on holiday, just because I haven't, just haven't. (laughs) You know, sometimes you just don't, you just feel a bit uninspired to post anything on social media, really. I've just felt a little bit like that, Um, except for in the socks group. Yeah, and so so I go in in the morning now, and instead of what I normally would do, is go on to the page and and my page and look and probably post some stuff and create some things and talk to people. Instead, now my my first thought is right. I'll go on the Behaviour Bible page, see what's going on there. Yeah. So genetics. Yeah, that's exciting. Yeah, I'm it's... excited for people to watch it. Really excited for people to watch it. I am. There's some really nice um nice footage in there as well, isn't there? Like, yeah. like our yeah. little B-roll skit. We did. That was real good fun filming, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Well, Joe was on the floor. Do you remember? Yeah, catching, catching the, box. the boxes. That's yeah. so we were smashing the boxes that, around. That, that is uh, for sure. That is, for sure, I was. That was fun. Yeah, and now um, there's loads. Of, there's loads of interesting stuff in this. I'm, I'm like, I'm really looking forward to seeing what people take away from it and what their favourite parts are, and uh, and of course the tests that we've carried out, um, the DNA yeah. tests, the, the other tests that we've done. Like oh. there's. Well, we can talk about what the other test is, can't can we? we? Yeah, can we can talk about that. That's really yeah, we can it's... Out. So, um, so Joe, <coughs> wait, what we go through is a series of trying to understand. Um, so there's a, a specific gene that's present seemingly mainly in the Malinois. Um, almost and exclusively got... in the Malinois. Is there, was there one exact? Yeah, there almost. One... Oh, almost, oh, almost yeah. 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 Um, and um, we thought it'd be fun to test all of the Malis. Uh, but we made a load of predictions on what we thought was going to be the case first. And it's yeah. quite, it was quite fun to watch those unfold, actually. And it was really interesting, actually. So um, a girl called Fram, who's Khaleesi Doby on, on Instagram, who I follow, she she messaged me and she said, you know, I'm thinking about getting a Malinois and da 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 and these are the breeders, what do you think? Um, and we had a bit of a chat and we've kind of got, gone ongoing on and off on it. Um, and then when we came to England, I messaged her and I said, yeah, if you're about, why don't you come down to Mondio training that we're going to do and you can come and you can meet a load a load of the Mallies that we we work and you can meet our Mallies and blah, blah, blah. And I was talking to her about the breeding and it's very rare that you find someone who is is very, very clued up on the breed. And one of her questions to me was, have you heard about this gene? And I was like, what gene? She's like, the, the kind of aggression gene, the poly A22. And I was like, yes, yes, I have. Um, she was like, so do all breeders test for that? Is that something I should be looking for? And I was like, oh, wait, wait, wait until genetics comes out. Um, and she said, because I feel like it's something that I should I should definitely be pushing back against. I should be making sure that none of the puppies have it. And I was like, oh, just like just wait, just wait till you see whether or not any of our dogs have it. It is fun. Yeah, it's good. It's really good. They're, and yes, it's it taught us about it as well on the way, didn't it? Yeah, definitely. Like, as part of how we learned all about it. And it's uh uh, I'm hoping that's gonna that's gonna transfer as well. Well, there have been a few of those things, haven't there, that we think we well we believe we understand. Yeah. And it's only when we actually start picking it apart in order to teach it properly that we go. Well, oh, I mean, that, that's always happened it, from, since Puppy Lab. That's yeah. gone through. But this is this is another one of those courses where we do something. And go shit! Look at the fucking gaping hole here, or look at look at this mon- complete misunderstanding. Complete misunderstanding. Was, yeah, the complete misunderstanding. I think was the the mind blown bit because <clears> um. 
because obviously there was that quite famous case which I actually referenced in it that was all over Facebook where that lady was trying to put to sleep her puppy um, because it had polio 22. And and so when 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 we actually read the like I'd read the studies, but like you know how you read a study, yeah, you're really. teaching them. But then I'd gone through and properly looked at the questionnaire that was sent out and all of that kind of stuff. And then I was like, "Fuck me, like, it's crazy!" Like it's just I can't wait to do research methods. Whenever we read a study like that, I'm like, "Oh, I just want to do research methods." Yeah, and for me. Um... In genetics, I think the animation really comes into its own. Yeah, it? I agree with that. Like it's, yeah, it, sure. it's if you were, if we were just presenting that, it would be a lot harder to understand than with all the infographics and the way that the animation is set out and the, and how much that actually helps you go. Oh, I see. Right. It really, really literally so, paints a picture. In domestication evolution, I think it added a lot of colour and flavour, as in it was, it was it was really nice, but the story was there to be told. <laughs> Here, for genetics, for neurobiology and for endocrinology, we're dealing with the insides of the dog. So it's a lot, yeah. a lot more difficult to get that visually across to students. So the, the animations, oh God, next level thing, isn't it? Yeah, it really is, really is, I think. Yeah, I, to I totally agree. Uh, especially when it comes because there's things like the helix isn't there that everybody everybody kind of knows like the staircase like we all we all we've all seen it. but when it's described to you or when you read about it it's very very difficult to kind of truly get your head about like ba like around like base pairs and what base pairs look like and and yeah, when yeah. there is an addition or a subtraction or or a mutation or an adaptation like what what is that, that thing like? and i think what the animation does is it allows you to it gives you like the, a picture in your head that you can kind of hold and go right that is what that is and as long as i've got that now when i hear about what happens to it i can imagine right that bit goes and that bit goes and it does that for you <coughs> so one of the things i really like is is uh quite a few of our students uh, seem to uh, quite like to draw as part of their notes Mm. And what I like to watch is that the animations are coming back alive on the on their pages because yeah. that's what's that's what's going in and and because they're sort of visual draw you know visual learners or whatever and they're busy there drawing stuff it's, it is nice it's really nice yeah it's cool. I love it I'm really looking forward to the debates on this one as well like really looking forward to the page debates like the whole nature versus nurture type thing you know because we've just done a whole bunch of a, a whole you know a whole month of thinking about how how uh, well the external factors uh yeah cause the exactly. change yeah 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 and now we're about the internal factors yeah. yeah 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 and 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 that's that's really nice it, it's it what i like about it right do you remember there's a jodie foster film it's showing my age uh to do with space travel ages ago i can't remember what it's called do space travel and at the very beginning it's to do with extraterrestrials and stuff like that and, and at the very beginning um there's a shot of like the the whole the whole thing that's up in the sky like all the galaxies and universes and stuff and it comes in and 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 comes in until it's in our eye right um, and it comes like, uh, and what I like to think of this course as, I think what this course does is it goes out and then it comes in and then it goes out and then it comes in, almost like a heartbeat. And it's looking like macro, micro, internal, external, like like this. Yeah. I, I love I love thinking about it like that. I love thinking about a dog and then you've got this camera and you're like, you've gone like way back, you've gone out and back in time for domestication and evolution. And then you're going inside, you're going right inside the ear, inside into the genes for this. And then you're going to whip to the brain and then you're going to come out and look at the hormones and the uh, neurotransmitters and all of that. And then you're going to flip around and look at what the dog's doing and its behavior and its physiology. And then you're going to cut, do you know what I mean? Like you could, you could do like a really cool little transition looking in and out of the dog, like studying the journey of what this course is going to do or this chapter anyway. Yeah, definitely. So the, we DNA test, we run tests on three different DNA providers. Companies, yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, uh, all of our dogs. So there's loads to take away from that bit. Yeah, there? yeah. Somebody saying, I love the, the uh, tomato sauce bit. <laughs> <laughs> I, that, I like that bit. That was good fun doing that. Nando uh, does some tea bagging. You know? Some what? Some tea bagging. Nando does some tea bagging. <laughs> That's not all right. Um, yeah, so there's there's loads to get stuck into this. 
Um, and it, it goes, I think it got, I think it's fair to say it goes into quite a lot of depth in terms of the the bits that are often missed out in the rest of the kind of canine literature. Because I think you hear quite a lot about like what like what like the hereditary nature of different things. But I, I it's very hard to find somewhere to learn about the the kind of physical attributes of what what DNA is, what RNA mm -hmm. is, what do you know what I mean? So that you can really understand the process of what's happening. Yeah, definitely. We, and we do what we always do, which is take it apart, that extra layer, that extra yeah. layer. For sure, for sure. I think also with this one, because it's you, Nando, more than anything, it's so much more than just a lecture. Because like, I think what Nando is very good at out of the three of us, I'd say he's definitely the best at. And that's of being like a really entertaining presenter. Like you you keep everything moving whereas hold on baby sorry santina's putting me um yeah. whereas... my favorite bit of genetics is where nando accidentally whacks the double helix with his hand and where you and i would have gone bollocks i need to start again nando goes my chihuahua the thought of nando owning the chihuahua is hilarious you used to have a chihuahua yeah pixie <laughs> Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna come back in a minute. I've just got to go and see what that what right, let's it out. Okay, so if you want to buy genetics for the next seven days, uh, then it's £99 rather than uh, £149.99 uh, if you're buying it piece by piece. Uh, if you missed out and you're feeling like you missed out and you wanted to jump on the whole journey and do the whole three-year course with us and you missed out on the 999 price, we have put another price up for you, but this is the last chance you're here to get it at 1199 instead. Okay, so this is the last chance to jump on the full three years for that price. Anything else? No, I'm off. Go for doing some spooning, shall we?